so welcome back guys um in the last video we did average right so in today's video we are going to do average if and average ifs so we are going to use this so now average if is used to give one single criteria so we want to know the average quantity order for each product average quantity for each product now we are giving only one quantity one criteria so i just say equals to average if average if so our our range is going to be this now it's going to start with the criteria range first right so our criteria range is going to be this product right comma and our criteria is going to be this one which is the product so we are going to choose the product as our criteria comma and our average range what do we want it to calculate the average so we need it to calculate the average for all the quantity so then i'll close my brackets then i'll press enter so it's going to calculate the average for each product right so if i copy down this so it's going to calculate the average for each quantity right for each product this is the average order this is the average order for this product it's kind of very easy because now we can do it again let me quickly show you again because you might not understand so uh, maybe you have to watch this video over and over again to be able to get it it's kind of very easy so let me put paste the average um the product name right here so right now we have product one here so i'll just say equals to right average now average if now our criteria range since we want to calculate the average for product one i'll choose products as my criteria range comma our criteria is product one you can type it there or you select it comma then our average range what do we want it to calculate for us is going to find the average in quantity then i'll close my bracket and press enter so it's going to also calculate it here like like this so that's just a simple way of calculating the um average ifs so now average if rather so now let's use average ifs now to give um to give multiple criteria so i just say equals to average ifs average ifs now our average range you can see that the the range comes first right our average range comes first so i'll come here and choose the quantity for the average range now the second one is criteria range one so since um, we are looking for I think it's female right our criteria range one is this product comma so we are calculating the average for all female so I'll choose this one right as my product right comma then the criteria range so now we need the gender the, the person has to be female they have to be female so i'll come here to gender this way i have my gender let me move back a little bit so this is where i have my gender so i select my gender comma so and the person has to be female so in double quotation again now close my bracket and press enter so you can see this is the average for all female so you can see this is the average for all female for each product we can do the same for male just say equals to average 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 ifs right now our average range is this one so we have to now we want to calculate the average for all male so our average range is quantity comma our criteria range one let's start with the gender first we can choose gender the person has to be male so put in male right here in double quotation then my product my criteria range two is going to be product right comma and if we come here also to this place our criteria is going to be product one then i can close my bracket and press enter so you can give as many criteria as possible if i copy down this it's going to be this now if you want to see usa male so i'll just say equals to 
average is right now our average range is going to be this thing again so which is the quantity comma our um criteria range one is going to be okay let's start with the country now comma our criteria is going to be usa usa in double quotation comma and our criteria range two okay let's go with gender right now so comma so the person has to be male in double quotation male then i'll close my double quotation comma and the third criteria the person has to come from um the person has to the third criteria will be each for each product so i'll select product comma then right now i can come to this product and choose this one as my product then i'll close the bracket and press enter so i'll just copy down this then now we have our average for usa usa mail you can see we have a usa mail right so that is that about that so i'll see you in the next video where we talk about another thing